Tracking the tropics, washes and warnings issued for parts of Florida as a strong tropical disturbance moves over Cuba right now. The system could develop into a named storm by tomorrow, and there are now flooding concerns right here in South Florida. Chief Certified Meteorologist Betty Davis here to start our team coverage. Betty. Hi there. We just got a new advisory in on potential tropical cyclone four, and it has not been upgraded to a tropical depression. Working its way over Cuba right now, winds of 30 miles per hour and moving west northwest at 16 miles per hour. Here's the forecast cone on the system, and by Saturday, it heads out toward the Florida Straits, passes near the Keys, and then makes its way northward over the Gulf waters where it could pick up some steam and then cross over a portion of Florida there. So the peninsula will want to watch this through the weekend. Early next week, uh, the southeast coast will definitely have to pay very close attention to this particular storm. But I want to bring it back closer to us here in South Florida, at least the forecast track, not noticing any major changes with the plan for how this unfolds heading into tomorrow. The official intensity forecast from the National Hurricane Center has it passing near the lower keys as a tropical depression, but on the verge of becoming a tropical storm as it's moving over those Gulf waters. You'll notice Sunday early AM winds of 40 miles per hour. That would make it a tropical storm. Anyways, the keys under a tropical storm watch. There's this tropical storm warning for the southwest coast of Florida as well. So for the keys, possibly getting some 40 mile per hour wind gusts tomorrow off and on downpours that are going to be gusty. So squally weather moving through there. Some of those rain bands are going to be poised to reach Dade and Broward as well. So here too, we could be dealing with some gusty downpours. For now, we are noticing on the Doppler radar some spotty storms running in off the Atlantic waters. So far, winds with those storms have been gusting about 25 miles per hour at times. And we'll get these from time to time this afternoon and could catch a few more later tonight. The entire region, though, South Florida and the Keys under a flood watch. So localized flooding, yes, a concern with this tropical entity. And speaking of entity, let's bring in our hurricane specialist and storm surge expert Michael Lowry for a lot more on this tropical wave. We're just waiting, waiting to see if this is going to evolve or expecting it to, Michael. Yeah, Betty, some important changes here with the forecast that we want to talk about is they actually extended the tropical storm warning on the north side of the peninsula. That gives you an indication of what they're thinking right now, which I'm going to talk about. We also have a storm surge watch up for the western part of the Florida peninsula. That's the Gulf side of Florida from near Naples uh, to just north of Tampa, including Tampa Bay, including Charlotte Harbor. Here is the satellite picture right now, the visible satellite picture. Uh, a few things that are interesting here is that we have a much more organized system. The Hurricane Center are noting this in their five o'clock discussion that just came out. We're seeing most of the thunderstorm activity, most of the turning of the winds on the south side of Cuba. The Hurricane Center says that this has moved a little bit farther west than what models had shown earlier. And so you see a little bit of nudge here in the forecast. It's, uh, you know, whenever you have a system that's coming in at an angle to Florida, there's always the concern that a little bit of a deviation one way or the other can mean a big difference and where the biggest impacts are. So as we time this out, this is going to be moving over uh, some of the warmest waters, not just in the Atlantic, but in the world. The water temperatures here are uh, in the low 90s, upper 80s, low 90s. And so with a wider swing over the Gulf of Mexico, there is the possibility that this could strengthen uh, additionally more than what the forecast is showing, which is sort of a 50 to 60 mile per hour tropical storm. Our computer models still showing that possibility of this going to the west. This is going to be moving toward the big bend of Florida, maybe uh, toward Tampa, just to the north of Tampa uh, come Sunday into Monday. And then there is the possibility that this could re-strengthen as it moves off the southeast and affect parts of the Carolinas. So this is going to be sort of a long event going into the middle part of next week. The calling card of this, though, for uh, at least our area is going to be the potential for heavy rainfall, two to four inches, even greater than that locally, that could bring some flooding. But the heaviest rainfall totals, those double-digit double totals are going to be to the north of us. And again, that storm surge wa uh, watch is now up for parts of the Gulf Coast of Florida. So a lot happening here, a lot of developments. The good thing, though, for us here in southeast Florida is that we're not expecting any major impacts, but that doesn't mean that we can't see uh, some of that localized flooding that we need to watch for tomorrow and into early Sunday.